What would you do tomorrow if you were absolutely certain that the Lord was with you? Like, like what, what courage might that give you to sort of step out from what's comfortable, to know for certain that the Lord is with you? What, what is he calling you to do that you might step into fully if you were sure that he was with you? Look, we love courage, don't we? We love stories of courage. We love people who are courageous. We celebrate them. We want to be like them. But if we're honest with ourselves, most of us are anything but courageous, aren't we? We are timid, we're faint-hearted, and we're fearful. A lot of us are afraid that we are not enough, that we don't have what it takes. So, So what kind of fortitude, what kind of grit might arise from a certainty, a confidence that God was with us? None of us in this room, none of us under the sound of my voice, want to be known as a coward. God doesn't want you to be a coward. God wants you to be strong and courageous. Webster defines cowardice this way. It's one who shows disgraceful fear or timidity in the face of danger and difficulty. No one wants to be that person. That man, that woman who's a coward, who shrinks back in fear when the difficulty comes. We want to be people who are strong and courageous. We want to be brave and we want to be valiant. But the question is, how? Joshua 1, 9, God says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Here is Joshua taking over from Moses. He didn't feel qualified. He didn't feel strong within himself. But here is God trying to give him a pep talk because he has to lead these millions into the promised land. And God tells him, have I not commanded you? You know how many times God told Joshua to be strong and courageous? Seven times. You know why that God, God had to tell him that? because he was fearful and God had to encourage him to go forth God expects us to be courageous why he says it because I'm with you you can operate in courage why because I am with you and if God be with us who or what can stand against us he tells you today I want to say this to someone I'm speaking to someone in here God is saying to you, have I not commanded you? Have I not told you? Be strong and courageous because the Lord goes with you. The Lord goes with you. God has promised to us his enduring presence. That's what he has promised. Now he said to Joshua, No man will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Just as I have been with Moses, I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. So be strong and courageous because I'm with you. I'm with you. Now, God's presence makes all the difference in the world. And God has promised, when we put our faith and trust in Jesus, he's promised to come in. And he says, I'll give you my Holy Spirit, and he will be with you, and he will be in you, and he will be with you forever. He won't leave you. You know, David said in that great psalm, even though I pass through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Why? Because you are with me. God being with you makes all the difference. And when God is with you, as as the Scripture says, if God is for us, Who can be against us? So Joshua's going up. He's going to have to fight giants. He's going to have to go up against warriors. He's going to have to go up against some vicious, ruthless people. He can't do that in and of himself. But he can do that if the Lord is with him. The Lord said to Joshua, I will be with you. And no one will be able to stand before you because I am with you. And the Lord says that. Same thing to you and to me today. Don't be afraid. You look to me. 
I will be with you. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God goes with you wherever you go. God is saying you can have courage because my presence is with you. My presence will go with you. You're not alone. The creator of the universe who sits enthroned in the heavens is with you. He not only sends you, but then he goes around, turns around and goes with you. Eight, Romans 8.31 says, what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him freely give us all things? No matter how big the giant is, no matter how great the lion is, no matter how great the, the grave or the situation is, we serve a God who's greater still. And that God dwells on the inside of every believer. David said, when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. It doesn't say that I won't walk through the valley. It says when I do walk through the valley, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. When I walk through the valley of my health, I will fear no evil. When I walk through the valley of my family situation, I will fear no evil. When I walk through the valley of them talking about me and disliking me and shunning me, I will fear no evil. When I walk through the valley of the job that they know they were trying to push me out, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. When we get in over our heads, there is a reminder that he is there. You know, the most frequent command in all the Bible, it's a two-part. It goes, do not fear, for I am with you. That command, do not fear, for I am with you, at least 366 variations of that in the Bible. Why? Because we need a constant reminder that God is present with us because we get fearful and we get scared and we start to feel like we're alone. And God says, no, 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 I'm right here with you. But keep going, I'm right here with you. We need that constant reminder of, of, of God's presence with us. The basis of which I have courage is not in my own strength, it's in the strength of the Lord. It says, fear not, for I am with you, Isaiah 41, 10. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my right. Listen, look at what God is saying. I am with you, I am your God, I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you. None, according to this verse, none of those bases was on us. Everyone was what God was providing to us. Pretty much almost everywhere in the Bible where it says not to fear, it only gives one reason not to fear, and that is for I am with you. <laughs> it's pretty simple, isn't it? Fear not, for I am with you. He doesn't tell us what he's going to do or when he's going to do it or how he's going to do it. He just simply says, fear not, for I am with you. And I love the scripture that says that he will guide us even unto death. God is never going to leave us nor forsake us. And something I practice once in a while, don't do this every day, but at different times God puts it on my heart. And I'll just stop sometimes throughout the day and say, God, you're here. He's with us. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Strength and courage, my, my brothers and sisters, are not found within you. They are found in knowing that God is with you. What would I do tomorrow if I was certain God was with me? What's that thing that's just sitting in your gut right now that you know you need to do, but you're hesitant? that if you knew and you were certain that God was with you, do. And maybe it's not tomorrow. Maybe it's like right now. Maybe it's right after the service. Maybe it's today. What would I do today? What would I do now? What would I do immediately if I was absolutely certain that God was with me? 